my favorite. So we're gonna start with our seduction lawn, which is a new thing for Miss Benny's, which are, these are actually on sale for Valentine's Day. You get 15% off on the website up until Valentine's Day, all seduction lawn candles. So we're gonna start with Pure Seduction, which is a blood orange margarita-ish. It has blood orange um, tequila, it has some orange peel and some sage in it. These all have wood wicks. However, you can purchase them with a cotton wick. But with the wood wick, it would be better because like it has that crackling noise and like... Give that extra oomph. <laughs> this one right here. This is the one I like. This one. Pure I seduction. Think. Get this before I buy them all. You know I'm broke, but don't worry about it. <laughs> well, if if people buy my products, they can help support your brokenness. Help also. support my brokenness. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy candles, right? <laughs> the next one we have up is Sweet Seduction. And Sweet Seduction is pretty much exactly like this label says. It is the sweetest fruit, tropical fruits that you could come across. This is an original blend. It's original. something that I miss. <laughs> up in my kitchen sorry dry as well um but it has a mixture of tropical fruits cherries vanilla and musk down right there it's, it feels like it makes it smells like you're on like a vacation in like hawaii like yes <laughs> get it <laughs> the next one we have is sensual seduction Sensual. And sensual seduction has sweet melons, citrus, berries, pear, and florals. It has a lighter vibe, not scent. So when you burn it, it's not going to be softer per se as far as the throw, but it has a softer scent. It's more mellow. It's not as harsh as you would get from tropical fruit. That's the, uh, number one you that's why it's called sensual, because it's low and low. I ain't supposed to be talking to you about that. <laughs> Simply Seduction. It is another blend that I made here. And to me, it's just Simply Seductive. It's El Dorado Peach. It's patchouli. It's dark rum mixed with fresh fruits, musk. And it's just that sensual vibe that you're going for whenever you want to be with whomever. That one like kind of like a manly person. Because of the, the patchouli and the dark rum. Because I feel like a lot of people vibe that, you know, um, men drink dark liquor. Women drink dark liquor too. But that's what a lot of people, when you think of like a man holding a whiskey glass, it's always like dark liquor, right? Like, that's the vibe you get when you get that sensual man sitting there with that dark glass of cognac. Yeah, you don't know nothing about that because you're only 17. <laughs> Next up is strawberry lemon cake, which is another Miss Benny's blend. That's my favorite right there. <laughs> mm. Let me that's show. That one has a cotton wick, not the wood wick, but you can get it in a wood wick. But this apparently is her jam, which... When she came in the house today, I was burning this, and she walks to the door, she's like, mm, it smells good in here, what is that? And I'm like, I told you I was burning a candle. And she's like, but I'm saying no, it's like, it's not supposed to smell that good. And I'm like, okay, so what did you expect a candle to smell like? Like, is it supposed to just be chill or what? Like, Next up is Half Baked. Half Baked is, <laughs> if you ever seen the movie Half Baked and you're craving food, you understand. It's a blend. It has, it puts you in the mind of baked bread, cranberry, and vanilla. It does. It smells like, I don't know. <laughs> cranberry bread? Yay. It also has a cotton wick. So these are some of our new scents in our 10 ounce jars. 
She said, what about this one? So that lets me know that Kyra wants you all to know about the new new jars. So the new new jars is our 8.5 ounce jar like this. Also has this one. This one is a Miss Benny's blend called Rosé and Red Bottoms. Expensive. That's that's the that's the point. <laughs> it but it's not expensive though. So you can buy it. Ooh, that does smell expensive. What you think I do this for? Just to be <laughs> playing around in the kitchen or something? All right. Y'all tell much. her. Not too, her. Much. not too much. And it comes with the wood wick. That is another Lux candle. That's the Lux. damask plum. And dark cashmere rose. That's the one that um when we went to that one place that everybody was buying up the candle, like it sold out in the first hour. The one you mixed? Yeah. The one that the lady was like, I need to trademark it. Oh yeah. And the hey auntie. It's yeah. different last time. The hey auntie? Because I tweaked it. Where'd you add to it? Don't worry about it. Isn't just, that nice? You just supposed to love it. This is hey auntie. Hey auntie. It's another one of our, I call it, I guess, our Lux candles. But this is another one that I was told I need to trademark. Mm. I don't know what this one is, but it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Sunflower Yuzu. And it puts you in the mind of being on a beach on a nice sunny day. So whenever you are getting off of work and you have that vibe of you want to just put your foot up in some light, burn this. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> You're not. I'm not really saying you say that. Because <laughs> there's some days when I come home and play Mortal Kombat and put a, peep, a few people's... Yeah, mm -hmm. me, yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> Mahogany Teakwood is just a classic. It's not a Miss Benny's blend. It's just one that we've made. Mm -hmm. Moonlight, Moonlit Kiss is a Miss Benny's blend. It's one that I created. It smells so good. This is like something you would burn on like a home date night type thing. Valentine's Day vibe? Yeah. <laughs> or not even just Valentine's Day. Like, you could just like set the mood for like a home cooked dinner and just have the lights dim, candles lit. Did you lit. show it to me? Oh, no, I didn't. I did for a second. Moonlit kiss. Oh, and you have moonlight, moon moonlight walk. This one too. Have those two burning together. Nothing. I didn't say anything. You're just make sure you put them back. I'm trying to. I'm sorry. I, I'm doing terrible at getting them in so you can see how they center into the candle. Because it's not just about the smell. I want the presentation of the candle to, you know, really speak for itself. I don't want y'all to get a candle where the wax is built up on the side, or you know, there's bubbles at the top. Like you want a flat top candle that looks like it's worth the money you spent for the candle. I don't want to sell you something that looked like I just poured wax into a thing and just was like, okay, we're going to let it care and go about our business. That's not what you're going to get here. Cocoa mango? Cocoa mango? Like that. That's what's mixing in Anubis, in the Anubis thing. Um, the beard oil. Did you um, show them the black, amber, and lavender? That was more lavender. It does, but you know what? A lot of people like lavender, but they don't do like lavender. lavender. They don't like it plain. It's got to have something extra. It's pink candy. And it smells like cotton candy. Some people love cotton candy. And I can't stand it, but when you got 17 year olds and you know that they get to a point where they can put a candle in their room, buy that for your teenager because you know how they burn the smell. Nighttime. <laughs> Who would like that one? Knock them out with nighttime. Lavender and chamomile. Sage and lavender. So if you are about cleansing your home, your spirit, run you a hot bath, write on a piece of paper, whatever your intentions are, whatever negative energy you want out your life, Open a window, light this candle, and relax. Think in your mind all the thoughts that you want out, and let 
let the spirits do their thing.